Hi there. I'm really excited today to show you the brand new device that I'm running Home Assistant on. This is Apollo's Odroid device, which is preloaded with Home Assistant. So let's have a look. So this is another great option for new Home Assistant users because it's plug and play. So they're using an Odroid M1S 8 gig single board computer with 64 gigs of eMMC storage. Comes with a USB-C power supply and an Ethernet cable. And this case, as you can see, is offering lots of ventilation. So this device is powered by the Rockchip. RK3566 CPU and the stats on that it's a quad core Cortex A55 clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. Along with that we have uh, two USB ports, um, a USB 2 and a USB 3. We have the HDMI out for graphics card and we also have a USB-C powering cable along with our Ethernet cable. Now, this so previously I've been running Home Assistant on this Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gig, and now having shifted over to this device, you can see how compact the form factor was. The first thing I did was to add a crucial 500 gig NVMe storage, and the other thing, the beauty about this as well, is that it comes with the heat sinks all pre installed as well as having the power supply as well. So Apollo has this easy starting guide. You just plug it into the wall with the power adapter, use the ethernet cable to connect this to your hub and search for homeassistant.local. That will then bring up the start screen. You go create my smart home and it will start preparing things. So in order to convert over to the NVMe, we just go system storage and then we say move data disk. So we go over there, we can see our new NVMe data disk and we go move and there we go. We'll now basically transfer all the data over to there and it will restart. So this device doesn't come with a Zigbee or a Z-Wave radio so you would need to supply those via USB. I'm also using a Bluetooth proxy in order to connect my Bluetooth devices. But overall I think this is a great either a first time starter kit or for someone that wants to upgrade from their Raspberry Pi. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you do, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.